and welcome back to part two on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway of heading through Cosby and into Gatlin Boyk. We're still on 321-73, heading southwest now, still in Cosby. And you can see the mountains in the background there. They're starting to show up more and more. We're heading into the mountains of Gatlinburg. This is real pretty out here. Nice road. I like this. Lots of twisty turns. Tight corner there. Nice house. Rock house. I like that. So I drove through a bunch of little towns which were behind me. I didn't videotape them or anything because I was too busy looking for places. And there's so many cool little, these, these little, um, God, what's the word I'm looking for? They're just these little tiny towns where if you blink your eye, you've gone through them. And they're just wonderful to drive through. They've got the little mom pa stores and cute little houses. And, and you could just tell people are happy there. This is Junction 339 coming up. You see there's lots of trailers off on your left. That's very common in this area. I mean, it's an inexpensive way to live. And if that's how you gotta live, that's how you gotta live. That used to be a gas station there. It reminds me of the same places that I just went through. away from it all, by all means, come out to Cosby. I mean, it's pretty. There's a mix of homes out here. There are, uh, there are communities in Cosby and other places in that area. Now, one thing I, uh, I stopped, oh, look at this cute little place here. It's like when you go into Cherokee. Got all the cute little things. Club, a cup motel. It's clean. Creek lots for sale. 
Beautiful mountains in the background. Cosby Campground and Picnic Area. Cosby's quite a big area. Cosby Cabin Rentals. So this is the, I guess, the older part of Cosby. Cosmic Ties. It's, um, I guess, like a metaphysical store. Isn't that cool? So, you're saying that is 321 closed? Could it be? So, let's, let's go find out what's to the right. Discover together. No semi trucks turn around. Okay. I'm not a semi truck. What's up here? I'm still heading southeast. Discover it together. It's all brand new to me. It's very quaint here. A lot of uh, mobiles. That's fine. And there's houses mixed in between. Very clean. I know you can pick up land here much cheaper in this whole area than you could in Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, and Gatlinburg. A heck of a lot cheaper. So if you're looking to save some money or you're retiring, uh, you can pick up land half the price. Guaranteed half the price of what you find in Sevierville, uh, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg. Cosby Run. Get the campsites here. We're going to find out where this goes together. i got plenty of gas. So if you don't hear from me for a couple of weeks, come and find me somewhere in Cosmo. Might have to make this a three-part series. I don't know. I hope you're having fun. If you like this type of stuff, comment, okay? Tell me you like taking these drives, because no, there's, no, you don't see any tourist stuff here, right? Right? Okay, if you're looking for the tourist stuff, go to my other videos. But if you want to see the back roads of Tennessee that no one else shows you, you go to Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And virtually right now, you're driving with me through the mountains. Highs and lows of Tennessee. Pretty road. As always, you know I put a little bit of music in between. Kind of kill the dead. Uh, I, you know what I can't do? I can actually roll down the windows now, can I? Yeah. Why should I leave the windows up? You can hear the air. I can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> I really can. But it's uh, nice to feel the air. That I don't know.
nice and sunny now. It was a little cloudy before. Clouds are coming in and out. There's a chance of showers here today. It is Wednesday. I believe. I could be. I always lose track of my days. It is pretty here. Some of the roads I went on today, in the real back roads, uh, reminded me of Cades Cove. They were just like Cades Cove, minus all the crazy tourists. It was just me on the road, and it was beautiful, absolutely stunning land. These are the roads you do not see anywhere on YouTube. Nobody else does this. If you can find somebody that does this, you let me know. Because I scour, you know, when I'm in the mood, nobody's doing this stuff. Nobody's showing you the real Tennessee. They're so busy, everyone's stuffing their faces and showing you plastic and blinking lights and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not impressed. I want to share with you why we moved here. That we came down here for this, this. Not the old time photos and, and you know, the, no. Here's a sharp one. I wonder how many people missed that. We're definitely going uphill. Where we're going, I have no clue. I'm in higher. You can see that. the mountain. Seventy seven degrees now. Um, five o'clock in the afternoon, heading east. Well, whatever this road is. Not three twenty one anymore. Clearly. As long as I don't hear banjos, I'm good. I hear banjos, I turn around. Well, how would you like to take this road in the snow, huh? want to get away from the world, this is the place to get away from the world. They take pretty good care of this road. It's uh, not really bumpy. A couple spots here and there, but not bad at all. Since 
cool about Tennessee. They're real, they're real good about taking care of their highways and their back roads and stuff. When you hop over, and not to say anything bad about North Carolina, I like North Carolina, but I guess I know they don't have the budget like Tennessee has because of tourism. But in North Carolina, the roads can get kind of rough and nasty. And I don't blame anybody. It's just that their economy is not as robust as Tennessee's. Maybe we'll see a bear or something. Who knows? We're pretty up high in there. You haven't seen a house for a while, have you? Just a mile mark. Adopt the house. This trash kills bears, so I'm assuming there are bears. Somebody took that corner a little close. That's the first house I've seen. It's just a road. Property for sale, how about that? That's <coughs> a log cap, but it's a Far in the middle of nowhere for me. Because I'm sure we're pretty high. I'm sure it snows a lot in here. Pretty high. There's a house. farmland because there's a big old barn down. I know you can't see it and I can't stop. Oh, we're up high. I can see that now. So there's no trucks and GPS is incorrect. So that's, that's telling you a lot. Now we're going back down. Twisty turny all the way down. So what I'll do here is clearly I got to go to part three. And what I'll do is uh, uh, end it here and then we'll pick it up on part three on being lost in the mountains of Tennessee on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. So stay tuned for part three. See you soon.